from boats that fly over the water's surface to AI-controlled yachts that are fighting a new kind of pirate using cybercrime. Innovations from the world's boat industry are in spotlight here at Dubai's International Boat Show. One boat that is designing for the future is Sea Bubble. Their boat utilizes aerodynamics and hydrogen-powered propulsion. We're looking at ecologic uh, means of propulsion. This is a hydrogen-powered vessel. So we're using a hydrogen fuel cell in a hybridization with a battery pack to support the change in power needs. So we're not looking at a fuel cell to, to charge the batteries, but the batteries to help alleviate the struggle of having just hydrogen. You need to have a lot of different variation of, uh, of power when you're sailing a boat, uh, which the battery, uh, the buffer battery will uh, support the, the hydrogen fuel cell in its power management. This type of hybridization is again optimizing what we can do with renewables. Instead of a few hours charging the batteries, you have a few minutes of uh, refueling at, at shore, on shore. This is actually revolutionary. You have an electric vehicle which you can refuel in five minutes. With oil prices at an all-time high, yacht manufacturers are looking at alternative ways to fuel their crafts. Sun Reef's Eco 80 is charting a sustainable way for solar-powered yachts. You use a car in different way what you use a boat. In the car you go fast, you go slow, you stop, you start again. In the boat is different. You, when you go from one point to second point, you use maybe you go six knots. You sell maybe one hour, two hours, or three hours, or one day in the same limit. Generally, it is good for the battery. Why you not have these peaks for the heating of the battery? Portuguese boat manufacturer Ferro Boats has created a unique design to transfer the sun's power to the boat's propeller. It's the first fully self-sustainable solution in the world. If you take the set anywhere in the world, you don't need anything else. No power grid, no infrastructure, no human presence. A lot of people might ask, why are the panels not on the boat? Uh, therefore, you might need this contraption. The kind of surface you need to charge uh, motors with a decent, decent power would turn the whole boat into a solar, a solar panel. As soon as people realize there is a better way, there, there are ways that do not compromise style, design, even luxury. Um, it will be a no-brainer to switch. The price tag of these super yachts has sailed them into dangerous waters with a new type of pirate. Today's tech-heavy yachts are being targeted by pirates hacking their systems. So how are yacht owners combating this new threat? I think back in the days, it was a physical attack because the information or the wealth was stored in the boats and the pirates used to be on the boats to take that wealth, whether it's coal or it could be any kind of uh, commodity. But today, things have changed. So the pirates need not to be on the boat. So it's all a virtual warfare which is happening because your wealth is also not physical, it's virtual. So you don't really need to have, uh, you know, a physical presence to kind of uh, get that money out or get that wealth out. Given uh, a right moment when the malware or the adversaries have a full control, that's when the nature ransomware can also kind of multiply, right? If they take a control of the whole ship, yeah. which means that they make you immobile, then to get out of this, so you probably be paying $10 million or excess of that. So, so they just look for maximum control, which can result in maximum outcome. It's a timely conversation. The world cybersecurity experts gathered at this year's JSEC conference in Dubai, where experts discussed the profile and motivation of hackers. Most of them are, have above average intelligence, and they are well educated, and they do not have a low socioeconomical status. Why do they commit crimes? Well, most crimes are about money, but there is also a trade involved which we call thrill-seeking behavior or a challenge to beat the system. So they like the feeling of being cleverer than the FBI, of being cleverer than all the cybersecurity professionals here. So basically, the feeling of outsmarting others. I do it because I can and nobody can stop me. I'm the genius hacker and I'm anonymous and nobody can ever get me. This is a core aspect of the motive in many cybercrime cases. Back at the boat show, there are changes on the horizon for the industry as it sets sail with new technology and eco-friendly power.